We're Gina and Steven with Live Deeper 10X, and we're traveling the world one house sit at a time. Welcome to Istanbul, the Asian side. We are actually outside the Airbnb. Steven has a terrible fear of dentists, and it turns out, if you see behind me, our Airbnb looks into somebody having dental work done. We are um, in Istanbul on the Asian side, and we're gonna spend this morning taking a look at Katakoy, beautiful little village or town that's in this area. We are in Katakoy on one of the main streets that you see in some of the Instagram shots, and this is a very artsy, sort of liberal, community here in the Asian side of Istanbul and it's much quieter than the European side, much more laid back. We're actually in the neighborhood of Moda, very artistic. There's a historic tramway in Istanbul. The T3 is the one on the Asian side. The T2 is the one on the European side. We're going to try and find that and see what sites we can see. They have, they've created these cat boxes and so if you haven't learned about Istanbul, they have no kill, no capture laws, and if you get caught harm, harming or hurting cats or dogs, you can be put in jail. So they've made these makeshift cat boxes for them. Here's one, look out, there's a big one. Wow. I just hijacked a, a short tram ride on the Katakoi tram. It is actually something that goes back to 1867 when Istanbul was starting to develop. They used trams all over the place. They went away sadly in 1965, but then in 1990, they decided to re rebirth the tram system. One that we're taking today, we think has 10 stops, basically a circle around Katakoi. We're gonna kind of check out some of the little areas that each one of these stops has. Let's do, do it. This is literally like the first Christmassy thing I have seen, days away from Christmas. It looks like it says, come on in, Gina. We just talked to Orhan and we got some hibiscus, it's, I think it's hibiscus tea. What is this called? Hibiscus. Hibiscus. Mm -hmm. Oh, fabulous. He suggested that we drink it hot instead of cold. And so we're going to taste this. It tastes delicious. No sugar. Without sugar, just I'm at berry. Uh, oh. Red, red berry. Uh -huh. Honey. There's honey. You can actually modify this however you want to. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. third leg of this journey and we haven't yet paid for anything. We keep trying, <laughs> we, we, we haven't it figured it out. We're I gonna... wonder if we should just stop. Welcome on the historic nostalgic they actually, tram. They actually put out an APB on us. And Who are the Americans that aren't paying? We try to pay each time. So he said there's a kiosk where you can uh, get a ticket. Well, he didn't say anything in English. He just pointed. Yeah, that was the implication. <laughs> he pointed first to the door. Then to get out. And then down this way. <laughs> we might find ourselves over on the European side. Oh boy. Who <laughs> has made some things a little challenging not knowing oh. Turkish? Turkish is really difficult oh my gosh the language yeah yeah 
Things like this can be tricky because if there's a part of the machine where you can do a translate into English, that makes it easier. Otherwise, you don't know what you're buying at all. Three pop card and 17 lira. Did you catch that? Because I don't know what that means. Uh, British. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Oh. What? How do you move on it? Well, we have to get one of these in order to get the pass, right? They just put the card in, I think is what they're saying. Well, let's just do this, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. That's it. Okay. Three, pass. Ticket sales menu. It's really loud. Okay, we have no idea what this does. No way. That's it. Are you sure? We have a card, we, we don't know how it works. Yes, we don't know if it's for the tram, if it's for a bus, if it's for a ferry. This is the first time we've been in this situation before. No, this is like a magnetic sort of thing. I, it's going to work fine. I know, because you're Mr. Optimist. By the way, that card actually worked. It made some funny sound. It's he shook like his head like it was okay. I think he was just saying, just go sit down so I can drop. We got warm gloves for me, and especially one with a little finger thing so I could use it for my phone. And it's like being at FAO Schwartz in New York City. is marzipan. So they come in obviously all these different kinds of really fun candy sizes. Got banana, carrots, kiwi. I got an almond cookie. I'll show it to you. It actually I asked her what it was called, and she said, almond cookie. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is delicious. Hold on. Mmm. -mm. And super chewy on the inside. And I love that it's okay. Stores on the second floor of this building that ring in the bell to get into the store. Not sure. <laughs> ring the bell. Oh, hello. We're looking for carabiners. Uh, uh, can we come in? We're going to somebody's house. Was that slightly weird to you? It was good, so I got a carabiner. It's called the Roaring, called the Roaring Bowl, and it was made by a French artist back in like 1867. It's been moved like four or five times. The French made it in response to winning the war against Germany, <clears throat> and then in like a few years later, Germany ended up taking it back because they beat the French. And then it was there for a long time. And then it came over here to Istanbul because somebody gave it as a gift to one of the prime ministers and it sat in front of his house for like 50 years. Kind of an iconic piece here in Katakoy in, in the Asian side of Istanbul. And it is a life-size bull. This is the actual size of the bull. Yep. If anybody knows Turkish languages, that would be great. I love word searches. That's funny. Ooh, 
believe it's called The Nick Cave. He's an Australian singer-songwriter who actually was part of a band called The Bad Seeds, and he was part of the punk era, the retro punk era, and so the owner of this restaurant is actually a huge Nick Cave fan, and she and her brother decided to name this place The Nick Cave. Who would, who would you name your cafe after? I got the chicken wrap. I can't really decide what the taste is. It almost tastes like it has a barbecue flavor to it. There's definitely lots of spices. And we also got some broccoli that feels like it's been pickled. If you watched our video on food tours, you would know that we pickle, we pickle a lot of things here in Turkey. Didn't know that it was gonna have to take Stephen moving to Europe or going overseas to actually drink tea. Well, I drink it because I think it's healthy. So I try not to put sugar in it. This one's gonna have honey. Mm -hmm. But oh, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. And it's hot. Yeah. Because it's chilly, it's cold outside. Yeah. Okay. So we're at the Opera House, which is uh, a beautiful historic building here. And they have an opera tonight at eight o'clock. And Gina is stoked. We went to an opera in Italy with Ethan and I almost fell asleep. I'm actually sure I fell asleep. I don't like the opera. I know I need to feel more cultured, but I just don't like it. Yeah, but it's really fun when they have the person with subtitle cards running across the stage. We, they have nothing like that. <laughs> no, but that'd be great. <laughs> if they did, it? that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did find some fun stuff to do today. It was cold and wet and we had some delicious food, wonderful yes. treats, yeah. met some really nice people. We did. We're really glad we came. We have more to check out while we're here in Katakoi. And remember, life is about living deeper. If we all live deeper just a little bit, imagine what the world could look like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell so that you can get more videos from us. 